What would you do if your 84-year-old dad called to say he's becoming a dad again? In today's funny story joke, we explore a wild tale of senior surprises, a confused son, and a doctor with an even crazier explanation. Get ready, this one's a doozy. There was a man named Frank. Frank prided himself on being a rational, no-nonsense kind of guy. He believed that every problem had a logical solution, and there was no mystery that couldn't be solved with a bit of common sense. But then, one day, something happened that completely turned his world upside down. It all started when Frank received a phone call from his father, George, who was 84 years old and as spry as ever. George had always been a bit of a romantic, and even in his golden years, he hadn't lost his charm. A year ago, much to the surprise of everyone in town, George had met a beautiful young woman and married her in what seemed like the blink of an eye. Frank, my boy. George had said over the phone, I've got some news that'll knock your socks off. Frank, always expecting the unexpected from his father, braced himself. What is it, Dad? You're going to be a big brother, George announced, his voice brimming with excitement. Frank nearly dropped the phone. Dad, what? You're 84 years old. I know, I know, isn't it amazing? George said, clearly thrilled. Frank, however, was anything but thrilled. As soon as he hung up, he started pacing back and forth in his living room, trying to make sense of it all. This can't be right, he muttered to himself. I mean, at his age? The more Frank thought about it, the more confused he became. Finally, he decided that this was beyond his understanding. He needed professional advice, so he made an appointment with Dr. Stevens, the town's trusted physician. Dr. Stevens was known not only for his medical expertise, but also for his eccentric way of explaining things. He had a knack for making even the most complicated medical issues seem simple often using analogies and stories that left his patients both enlightened and entertained. Doctor, I need your advice on a rather unusual family matter, Frank said as he sat down in the doctor's office, his expression a mixture of disbelief and desperation. Go on, Frank, I'm listening, Dr. Stevens replied, leaning back in his chair with a thoughtful look on his face. Frank took a deep breath. It's about my dad. He's 84 years old, and last year he married a much younger woman. And now, well, now she's pregnant. Dr. Stevens raised an eyebrow but didn't say a word, letting Frank continue. I mean, is that even possible at his age? Could he really be the father? I just don't understand how... Frank trailed off, shaking his head. Dr. Stevens nodded slowly, clearly considering his response. Frank, let me tell you a little story that might help clarify things. Frank leaned in, curious despite himself. He knew that when Dr. Stevens started telling a story, it was always worth listening to. You see, Frank, my family has always been big on hunting. Every year, we go on a hunting trip together, and my own father, who's about the same age as yours, still comes along. He's a stubborn old man, much like your dad and he insists on doing everything himself. Frank nodded, intrigued. Well, last year, when we went on our annual hunting trip, something rather peculiar happened. My father was so excited about the trip that in his haste, he accidentally packed his walking cane in his rifle bag instead of his rifle. None of us realized this until we were deep in the woods, ready to start the hunt. Frank couldn't help but smile at the thought of an old man eagerly preparing for a hunt, only to end up with a walking cane instead of a rifle. Dr. Stevens continued. The next morning, we spotted a magnificent trophy deer. It was a beautiful creature, standing there as if it was posing just for us. Everyone got excited, and we all shouted, Grandpa, shoot it! Shoot it! My father, determined as ever, stood up in the back of the pickup truck, unzipped his rifle bag, and pulled out his walking cane. Frank chuckled, already imagining where this story was headed. But here's the strangest part, Dr. Stevens said. 
his eyes twinkling with amusement. My father, with all the confidence in the world, aimed that walking cane at the deer, said bang, and I'm not kidding, the deer fell over dead, bullet hole and all. Frank stared at Dr. Stevens in disbelief. That's impossible. Someone else must have shot the deer. Dr. Stevens leaned back, nodding slowly as a sly smile spread across his face. Now, Frank, that's exactly my point. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>